Hey guys, Jonathan here, and I just got back from Superhero Comic Con in San Antonio, Texas. Not only was it my first time at this convention, but it was also my first time in San Antonio. Texas in the summer was so hot, but the convention was totally worth going, although it was a little bit disappointing going in. So Jeremy Renner, aka Hawkeye, was announced as a guest at this convention, which was a big reason why I wanted to go, but about a month beforehand, he canceled. I'm not sure if it was due to filming or health, but either way, you know, Comic-Cons, you'll have guest cancellations, and at a month out, you still have plenty of time to decide if you're going to go or not. Well, Jake Gyllenhaal, who we all know and love, including his role as Mysterio in the MCU, was also a guest at the convention, and I thought, you know what? I don't know if he's ever done a convention, maybe one or two in the past. He's definitely a rare appearance. That would still be worth it to me, so I went ahead and bought the photo and autograph from Jake Gyllenhaal, and I also applied for a press pass with the convention and got that, so thank you to Superhero Comic Con for that. But then I looked at the rest of the guests, and they had Orlando Bloom, which is a pretty big guest, Diego Luna, who plays uh, Andor in Star Wars, several Superman actors, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for Jake Gyllenhaal, Palm Clementif that plays Mantis in the Guardians movies, Tatiana Maslany that plays She-Hulk, as well as Iman Vellani who plays Ms. Marvel. That's a really good Marvel roster, and of course, as a big Marvel fan myself, that made the most sense, and, you know, these meet and greets and autographs and photo ops are certainly far from cheap, so I figured that was a good cap off, and at least I would get to meet a lot of cool Marvel people that way. Well, the week of the convention, Jake Gyllenhaal canceled, and they're gonna send refunds for all of that, and that's all well and good, but he was kind of the main draw why I was going to the convention, so I still did get to meet the other three Marvel stars that I mentioned, so I wanted to make this video and talk all about the experience at the con, and of course, meeting those celebrities. So the convention itself was absolutely massive. There was a free arcade area where everything was set to free play, and then of course there was a giant vendor area as well. Admittedly, as a LEGO fan, there was not much LEGO action to be seen there, but if you were into Funko Pops or even like Marvel Legends and things like that, you were definitely in for a good time. I like a lot of vintage toys too, and unfortunately the vintage selection was also pretty thin. That being said, you know, the Funko selection was absolutely amazing, I'm not personally collecting Funko anymore, but if you're into Funko, you would have been in heaven. It was great. Now, when it comes to meeting the celebrities, I'll walk you through in the order that I met them and tell you the whole story. I was only at the convention Friday and Saturday, for full disclosure. But on Friday, I went and walked the vendor floor, and then at the end of the day, I went and got an autograph and a table selfie with Palm Clementif. Now, something interesting is that the way the convention is operated, like, Every Comic-Con I've been to, if you buy, like, a selfie with the guest star at their table, you get the autograph, and then they'll come over and take the selfie with you. At this convention, it was a little weird that, like, you had to buy the autograph and the, you know, selfie, but then you got the autograph and then had to get out of line and get into a new line for the selfie. So you kind of got to meet the guest twice, which... I don't know, that just doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do it, but it is what it is. Anyways, Palm was super, super nice. The set that I got her to sign, perhaps you saw it over on Instagram, is the very first set that ever came with Mantis, of course, the Ravager Attack from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and she signed it Palm and added a little Mantis there, which is cool. And she actually mentioned that she doesn't think she's ever signed one of these sets, so crazy. It came out seven years ago. And uh, to her recollection, this is the very first one she ever autographed, but she couldn't have been nicer. Super, super cool. And of course, my picture with her, I had her uh, hold the Mantis minifigure who was conveniently standing on a mini superheroes today brick. She did make a joke too, looking at the box art here. You can see Mantis on the front. She says, why do I look so pissed off? <laughs> and I said, don't worry, you uh, have another head that you could flip around. I guess it's easiest to see on the front there. You have another head you could flip around where you're a little more collected, and she laughed at that. Anyways, it was photo op time when I got back to the convention on Saturday. So my first photo op was with Iman Volani, who could not have been nicer, but Saturday was a lot of just waiting in line because I was doing two photo ops and two autographs, and for two of the bigger Marvel stars that were there, that means that the lines were gonna be crazy. That being said, Iman was super cool. Uh, when I walked into the photo op, I asked if she wouldn't mind posing with the Lego Ms. Marvel figure, and she went, oh, Lego Ms. Marvel. She like held it up, as you can see here, and it was super cool. Then she handed me the figure back, and that was the end of that photo op. Then I left and got in line for Tatiana Maslany. When I went for her photo op, I, you know, switched out the minifigure, and it was the She-Hulk minifig from the CMS series, too. Well, when it was my turn to step in, I asked her if she had seen one or had one yet, 
And she said, no, I don't have this figure. I'm like, I know they made it, but I never got one. So I said, well, this is my gift to you then. And so you can see in the photo, she was super excited. And uh, we now have confirmation that Tatiana Meslani owns a Lego She-Hulk. And it was one for my collection. So that was a cool honor to do. And that was great. I bet you'll never guess. I went and waited in another line. And in that line, I actually got to meet Amon Vellani again and had her sign the Marvel site. You can see she signed it, Amon Vellani and added Miss Marvel there, which is super cool. Uh, it was not fun to buy this set because it's like, what is it, like $90 or something, but it's still very cool to get the autograph. And I asked him on, you know, being the Miss Marvel fan you are, how does it feel to like be in a Lego set? She said, well, actually, I don't really like Legos. She said Legos, not me. <laughs> so she said she opened the box and took the Miss Marvel figure out to keep for herself and gave the rest to one of her friends. So there you go. Ms. Marvel herself is not a big Lego fan, apparently. <laughs> well, I had one more autograph to get, and of course, that was Tatiana Maslany. Well, think about the Lego She-Hulk things that have come out so far. The very first She-Hulk set is based off the comics, so it's not really her version, so that one makes sense to get signed. And then the only other thing that came out commercially at retail is the actual CMF box. Uh, one of these bad boys. But then the only other thing that came out of retail is a CMF box, which of course has She-Hulk on the front. But I don't know. I just felt like while this would be cool to get signed, it doesn't like display super well. You know, it takes up a lot of shelf space because it stands vertically and all that. So I thought I have something that's a little bit more unique than that to get signed. So I went up to her table. Of course, I had to wait in line forever in a year. And uh, I actually gifted her a She-Hulk uh, trading card from the Lego Marvel collectible trading card series that's only available in Germany. Now, of course, that one was based off the comics, but it was a gift, and she said how much she loved it, and she's going to display it with the She-Hulk, and presumably the mini superheroes today brick, on her She-Hulk shelf at her house. So that's a huge honor and definitely very cool. But what I took to get signed is actually this sleeve. Um, this is only available in Europe when the Marvel Collectible Minifigure series came out. And there are 12 CMF boxes inside, and if you are lucky enough to find one of these when it was delivered to a store, it actually has one of every figure. So if you could get this out of the shipping pallet and just buy them all, you could get a complete set this way. Well, conveniently on the side, we've got a big She-Hulk printed there, and of course, Tatiana signed it there, and I thought that that was a really cool thing to get signed, not only because it's huge and it's like the biggest She-Hulk thing ever, but it also displays really great. She signed it in green, and uh, it's actually a pretty rare item to have the full tower itself, so I thought that that was pretty cool, and she said she'd never even seen this before, and I reckon most people haven't since they were only in Europe, but... I do realize it is kind of funny that five seconds ago I said I didn't want to get a CMF box signed because it takes up a lot of space, and then I get something signed that's like literally bigger than my head, but <laughs> still pretty funny. So that being said, just kind of hung out around San Antonio beyond that neat city to take in the history, but certainly not to take in the heat. It was hot, but uh, yeah, it was a great time. Got to see some bricks and minifigs and Lego stores with a great tour guide, and uh, really had a wonderful time. So that was my experience at the con. The other thing I want to mention is that they did free autographs there with like Leia Thompson, who played Marty's mom in Back to the Future, Peter Weller, Robocop, Sam Witwer that did the voice of Darth Maul, as well as The Apprentice from the Force Unleashed games, and you could get those autographs and selfies for free, but because they were free, the lines were crazy, so I didn't even get a chance to like even attempt to wait in line for any of them. So if you were at the convention, I'd love to hear what you thought of it in the comments down below. If you're planning on going next year, let me know. Uh, I gotta wait to see who the guest list is before I decide if I'm going again, but really, really uh, had a lot of fun meeting the Marvel stars. And beyond that, not really a great toy convention for my interests, but again, if you liked Funkos, you would have been in heaven. So let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Hope you're having a great week out there and I will see you soon.